All right, so I've got some global breaking news for you guys in today's video, courtesy of the official global Dokkan Twitter page. And this is something that a lot of people, myself included, have expected for quite some time now. So it doesn't really come as that much of a surprise, but it's always nice to have official confirmation. So as you guys can see, LR, Kale, and Khalifla have officially been announced for global. And I think the best way to do this video is to quickly go over their details first and then I'll talk about my opinions and whether or not I feel like they're worth summoning for and so on and so forth. Alright, so first things first, their official English name is 2 makes the strongest of all universes, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla and Super Saiyan 2 Kale. So I'm not exactly sure how I feel about the uh, translation for the name. I think it sounds... A little bit awkward but I mean the translations are always iffy right like some of them are good some of them are kind of weird like for example the uh, tech full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku what was the actual translation it was like super full power Saiyan 4 Goku or something like that I don't know it was really weird so I'm uh, not super surprised there but moving on to the details now we have the leader skill which is joint forces category key plus four HP, attack, and defense plus 130%. And for anybody that doesn't know, the Jordan Forces category is uh, quite busted. I mean, at least at the time when it first came out, it was considered like super, super busted. But nowadays that we have like the Super Saiyan category and also the Kamehameha category, I feel like it's not as crazy as it used to be. I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like. So. We're on the Dokkan wiki here, we have the leader of course, which is the Killing Khalifla. The sub leader is actually the free to play uh, Yamcha and Puar. So uh, here is the category guide. As you can see, a lot, a lot of LRs, some of the best units in the game, of course. Uh, Goku and Frieza, we have Go Bros here, we have uh, Rose and Zamasu, LR Vegito, LR Gogeta, LR Beerus, Trunks and Mai, so on and so forth, the LR Androids. So basically any unit with uh, multiple characters in the card name uh, will be in this category. And uh, yeah, a lot of really, really busted LRs are in this category, but I think overall the synergy between the units is not great. So I guess that makes up a little bit for just like how crazy the actual units are, right? So there's the category, and uh, they are the non Dokkan Fest leader for them, I guess. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see like in the future if we do actually get a Dokkan Fest leader who gives 150, 170%, that'd be kind of fun, but uh, for now they are the best leader available for this category. And uh, moving on to their passive. So their passive is let's go even further together. It's uh, attack and defense plus 66% and launches an additional attack guaranteed. Key plus one up to six and chance of evading enemies attack including super attacks plus 6% up to 66% with each attack performed. So after 10, no after 11 attacks, wait, 11 attacks, yes. After 11 attacks, they will have a 66% chance to evade enemy attacks, which is actually really crazy. And uh, they also get attack plus 10% per universe 6, join forces, or pure Saiyans category ally on the team, launches an additional super attack when there is a universe survival saga or pure Saiyans category enemy. So um, they're really good. They're like really, really freaking good. Um, I've seen them, seen them output some really insane damage. Uh, of course, they have the potential to launch up to like four supers I believe and uh, if you build the team correctly if you have a lot of units at universe 6 joint forces and pure saiyans they get a absolutely insane attack boost so that is crazy passive right there their links are super saiyan battlefield diva warriors of universe 6 uh, tournament of power prepare for battle fierce battle and legendary power categories are joint forces universe survival saga universe 6 pure saiyans pepe gal and full power so uh, all the details right there really really good amazing links amazing passive uh, leader skill is i mean for like the category is crazy and on top of that their super attack also raises defense both on the 12 key and the 18 key so they stack defense infinitely for both supers which uh, of course makes them incredibly good for the legendary goku event and uh 
the what's the other one uh infinite dragon ball history of course i think more stages will be added in the future for that too so they're going to be good on those stages too and uh yeah they're just a really really overall amazing unit they're considered by many people to be the best unit currently available in the game and i totally totally understand why but that being said uh just from a, just from a personal standpoint I, I gotta say i'm not super super hyped for this announcement i'm not super hyped for their banner i'm not super hyped to summon for them and I'm actually surprising myself a little bit when I react this way because, you know, six months ago or seven months ago when they first came out on JP, I was like all about it, you know, like I wanted them so bad and I was like, hopefully they bring this unit to global earlier than expected and maybe we can summon for them in a couple months, but you know, three months passed, four months passed, five months passed, now six, uh, close to seven months I think at this point have passed since this unit first came out on JP, and I don't know, all of my hype is gone guys. I, I don't know what it is exactly because, as I've said, I recognize just how amazing this unit is. I recognize that they're one of, if not the best unit in the game at the moment, um, but my hype is just not there. And I think maybe it's because they waited so long to release them, and uh, now there's like other units that came out on JP that I'm more excited for, mainly the STR cooler, and um, maybe that's it. I, I don't really know what it is, guys. I really, really don't know, um, but this is just me, personally, all right? Like, don't take it as a sign that they're not good. Don't take it as a sign of me telling you to not summon, because I think if you're going to summon on any legendary summon banner, this one will be it because they're so freaking good, right? But uh, that being said, they are coming on a legendary summon banner. I'll show you guys what it looks like right here. And it was not the greatest. I mean, one thing that's interesting is that uh, it does bring two other new units in the STR Kale, as well as the Tech Khalifla. And uh, these two don't have Dokkan Awakenings at the moment, but they're both good in their own way. So uh, if you guys are big, you know, Kale and Khalifla fans, then this is definitely. Um, a good banner for you because you have three new units you can potentially get, right? But uh, aside from that, the rest of these units are... I mean, they're good, but they're not... You know, you, know, you can get them on any other banner. They're all general SSR pool units, just like any other legendary summon banner, so the value is just not great. And... Um, I mean, I've, t I've talked about this in other videos. There was one video where I specifically talked about like just banner types and which banners are good to summon on and which banners are good to use their stones on. And legendary summon banners, I emphasized, were just not great value for your stones because the rates to pull the main featured LR um, is very low, right? It's like a 0.4% chance, I think, something like that. So, no, I could be wrong about that, but it's like 0.4.5, somewhere around that range. Very, very low rates to pull the LR Kale and Khalifla, so your chances of getting completely shafted are just way too high in my opinion, so for most people, I wouldn't recommend more than like 150, 200 stones, like 3 to 4 multis at the most, and uh, you know, test your luck a little bit, but if you don't get them within those stones, I would say just, you know, wait for them to come back, or you know, wait for them to be available in the uh, Baba shop through gold coins or something like that, because, um, yeah, you just it, the, the chance of getting shafted are way too high, and um, of course, at the end of the day, it's your stones. It's a personal decision. If you guys are really, really hyped for this unit, you really want them. I can't fault anybody for wanting to summon for them, but uh, just for me personally, I just don't feel the hype anymore. I uh, probably won't go as deep as I would have maybe a couple months ago. So maybe for me, like 300 to 500 stones, which I know for some people is a lot, but to me, you know, I spent 6,000 stones on the 300 million download celebration. So uh, 300 to 500 stones is not a ton, and that's probably all I'm gonna put into this banner. If I get them, awesome. If I don't get them, uh, I won't be overly upset either. You know what I mean? So. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, you know what, before we go, actually, let's take a quick look at the Super Attack animation. Oh, I think it's a bit loud, actually. So I'm gonna turn this down a bit. And let's start from the beginning. So here we go. I don't know why the quality of the video is so low, by the way. I don't know why they couldn't post uh, 
not an HD, but at least like a 720p video or something like that. But there it is guys, Kelly Khalifa's uh, Super Attack animation. I believe this is the 12 key and this is the 18 key right here. All right, so we got the uh, the, the double blast and then the, the thigh. <laughs> I don't know why I focused on her thigh, but there it is. And uh, that's the animation guys. You got that Christmas beam action going on here. And a little pose at the end. So there you go. That That is the unit right there. Um, I mean, it, it's cool. It, it, it's cool, but I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. I just I just can't get that excited. But you know what, guys? Um, I would love to hear your opinions. I, I would love to hear if I'm you know one of the only people that feel this way. Actually, you know what? I've, I've been reading a lot of comments on Twitter, and I feel like it's a pretty popular opinion at the moment. And uh, it is how I feel, man. It is how I feel. But let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this. If you guys are hyped, if you're summoning. If so, how many stones do you plan to spend? And uh, until more information comes out about part two, this is gonna do it for today's video. So definitely LR Kellen Khalifluff coming for part two of the global thank you. No, part two of the Christmas celebration. Uh, LR Kellen Khalifluff definitely guaranteed. Of course, more stuff coming soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku Extreme Z Awakening. That would be definitely significantly more hype to me. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys uh, learned something along the way. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.